Hi, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. Um, here I'm going to show you how you can install Tomcat in Windows. In order to do that, uh, the only prerequisite that I will require here will be to make sure that you have Java installed in your system. If not, you can s check some of my video or other tutorial online to see how to install the JDK. So to check that Java is installed, you have to go to the CMD and type Java versions here, like here. And you can see that we have Java versions installed in our computer and here in my case here I have different versions of the JDK but right now this is JDK 17 which is installed and then after that one is clear then we need to go uh, to the browser and then uh, tap here tomcat Tomcat download. So you are going here to install uh, to download the Tomcat installer from the official uh, page. I will just have to just refuse it or accept it. And then here I go to uh, the home page of Tomcat. And here, as you can see, we are presented with this page here. And depending on which uh, Tomcat versions you want to install, in my case here, I would like to install this uh, version 10, which is here and supporting Java EE. As you can see here, 10, uh, Tomcat 10 and later implement specification developed as Java EE. Tomcat 9 and earlier implement specification develop up as uh, Java EE. So this one here is the latest version that is supporting the Jakarta EE. But yeah, if you are planning to use Jakarta EE, if not, yeah, feel free to choose the versions that you want. And then I'll come here, just download uh, 10 download uh, Tomcat 10 here. So there are different uh, versions here that you would like to install if you want to get the embedded one or the core or the portable versions. But what we need here will be to download, uh, I have 64-bit uh, versions of Windows and here we download the installer. All right, so I click here on installer, then it is downloading. And then, bam. Here we have our Tomcat installer, which is downloaded. The next thing we here will be to right click one, go to properties. And then in the properties here, then you will allow this security. Right now, mine is written in German, but your will be in English with different meaning. So just allow here to sh accept that there is no security risk and then after that we are going to launch the installations as admin of course and then give our windows permissions then the installation start we agree and then when you come here you may explore it yourself if you want this one to be directly linked to start automatically with the service whenever the computer starts then you can enable that directly uh, in my case here i would not like to have that one so what i do will be yeah go with this options here host manager and some example of applications which were deployed for now and then go to next and then we come here i will just check this one to create the shortcut for all users 
you may want to enter your admin password and so on but this one i will do it later i will just go with the default password as we are going to manually set this one after the installation so we go here now here is specific automatically here you can see topcat installer is detecting the jdk directory you may click here if you want to change it and specify another versions of uh, the JDK that uh, you'll want here. So now I keep with the default. I go to next and here the destination folder where our installer file will be installed. So keep track of this uh, uh, directory here. So we go to install. Then now it is extracting uh, the executables and installing now is instruct extracting and installing different executables Then bam, so it's finished here. So what we have to do now is yeah, we just go with this default. And then if everything goes as planned, uh, you are going to be propped with uh, Tomcat Manager Windows. So it didn't show up so what we have to do now is to go back to our installation directory and remember that was in program file in program apache tomcat i go here to tomcat then allow as is uh, the directory is protected. And then here we go to uh, the bin folder. Yeah, once we come here, remember this Tomcat 10 w is what we need. We click on that. It didn't pop up automatically. So we start that manager. And here you can manually start, you can control how you want our uh, Tomcat to behave, either to start automatically or manually or disable it. So we keep this one here, as you can see here now, it's already set to here, it started. So what we can do now is to go to the homepage here, to the browser here and type local host. 8080 our default port so it might take some time but you wait bam so you can see that here that we are presented with uh, with this uh, admin page here this home page here and then no uh, here we can see some of the example applications example that are already there like first year first web application we can we could access that one uh, through this page this link bump so we can see that here this is a developer guide And then we also have some examples here, like this GSP page. Yeah, these are some of the example applications that we check when we started, yeah, when we were doing the installations. But 
that's not interesting now what we want to do now is to go to uh, the admin page we want to go to the admin page so what we have to do now is to go back to our directory then go to installation directory and then uh, here and so as you can see here this is the bin folder where we can st start and stop our applications and other things and the next thing here will be uh, the lock folder usually this is where we get the lock files and so on we get whenever you have our application is having some error here then we are going to come here and see the lock and other important thing is this web app here here is where we will drop our WAR or the jar file when we want to deploy them so we are going to uh, drop them in the web app root here so and usually when we put here it will be extracted directly and we'll have some folders like this one so and once that one is finished here we come to the most interesting part is the config file in the config file here we are going to open this tomcat uh, users here is the tomcat users and then you know, just see here why we need that one is that if we click here this on this manager app here you can see that we are prompted with the admin with the username and password to in order to access that uh, administrative panel so we need to set that uh, those credentials here some are some of the default here but before that we can see like some of the roles that a user may have if you want the user to manage the GUI and see the status page then you have to give him the manager GUI holes and then for the HTTP HTTP APIs access, we need this manager script, the GMX, we need this GMX manager, uh, iPhone GMX, or the status role, manager status roles. So these are different roles. What we have to do here is that I will just uh, give you one example here. I just want one admin user to be able to do everything. So I will also put this one in the descriptions of the video. Here we are saying that the username is admin, the password is admin, and then these are different roles that the admin may have. So we just give the admin all the process, well, all the roles to access our applications but if you have different user we may choose to give like different roles according to the tasks that they may perform in the server so then we save it we just save and close it now so the next thing that we need to do is to come back uh, here to the config bing folder and restart our service so we need to reopen this uh, manager the service manager here we stop and we start then yeah that is it and then what we can do now is to go back to this page here and reload it So now when we click for example to the manager up here then we are presented to this one we need to give uh, the username and the password admin admin uh, 
bam here we are bam here so we can see that here we are landing to this admin page here so here is the admin page where we can uh, control different applications like we can choose to stop like this example here is running we may want to stop it or to restart it or to remove it right or if you want to deploy a new applications we can come here and select uh, our file take it here and deploy it here directly instead of going to uh, this uh, web app folder and drop it there but if you want you can also take your WAR file drop it here and automatically you will appear on this page so these are some of the things that you can do in this uh, let me try to convert this one to English so these are some of the things that you can do in this uh, Tomcat stuff so I hope that uh, these informations will be uh, useful to you and sorry here that some of the things here are in German but at least some of the most important things have been uh, explained. So stay tuned for the next part of this tutorial where we'll try to deploy different applications like Angular or Java applications on this uh, Tomcat. Bye.